T-Mobile continues to absolutely dominate AT&T and Verizon when it comes to overall service. We're talking about speeds, upload and download. We're talking about video consistency, consistency overall and latency. T-Mobile has been winning for the past year and a half and they continue to do so. Let's take a look at the numbers. Every three months, Ookla measures millions of devices and the speeds they are bringing in. And every few months, we get to see where the carriers fall in terms of how fast or slow or better they are over time. And T-Mobile is just, it's embarrassing how good they're doing for the other two big guys, Verizon and AT&T. Here are the numbers. T-Mobile more than doubles Verizon's average download speeds coming in at over 160 Mbps, where Verizon falls in around 75 Mbps for average speeds. And AT&T comes in even lower than Verizon, but just barely. Those two are basically at a tie right now when it comes to speeds, but T-Mobile is crushing it, very much likely due to their massive 5G footprint, which puts AT&T's and Verizon's to shame. So that's probably why we're seeing overall faster speeds from T-Mobile at the moment. The next most important number I like to look at are upload speeds. Not as important to download because for the most part, we are consuming content, which is downloading it from the internet. But some people prefer uploading content, especially creators. But here, T-Mobile crushes it as well. Just not as drastic as before. T-Mobile's average upload speed comes in around 11, Verizon comes in at eight, and AT&T comes in at seven Mbps. All of these numbers are pretty slow, and you wouldn't be able to tell a difference from seven to 11 really for the most part, that's negligible, but it's still important to note that T-Mobile is absolutely winning here as well. Curious though that although they're 5G footprint for T-Mobile is growing and the download speeds are absolutely crushing. Upload speeds seem to be another story across the board and I think should really be taken a closer look at as these carriers start to grow their network and improve their networks. It's not just about download. We gotta start putting some love into upload speeds. Now I'm not going to go into every category because T-Mobile won them all from video streaming to consistency of the overall network and even latency. T-Mobile came in first, then Verizon, then AT&T. It's unfortunate that AT&T has done poorly for the last year and a half with these tests because as I've said, all the time in these videos. I have had AT&T my whole life. I'm a fangirl, but they're just not performing well. And it's in the numbers. Now to go on the other side of the coin, some of these numbers are so close that it doesn't really matter. For instance, T-Mobile's latency is just barely better than Verizon's, which is just barely better than AT&T. But if you're a gamer, that might make a big difference. With all that said, it's pretty clear that T-Mobile is far ahead of the others, and it's going to take a lot for AT&T and Verizon to dethrone the pink wonder. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is T-Mobile really all that's cracked out to be? Cracked up to be? C cracked to be? What's the phrase? I don't know what the phrase is. And who do you think might be the first to dethrone T-Mobile, AT&T or Verizon? I hope it's AT&T, but I have an inkling it's definitely going to be Verizon. I'm Sherry. Thanks for watching.